Hello, Impurus back here again with another tutorial. Um, this one is going in on the platforming and you see two grounds here and you're like, oh no, I want from this ground to that ground, I want to have a platform here, no, how the hell do I do that? Well, this is how you do it. First, you get a ground and you pick that ground, you're like, okay, so this is the ground I need, yep, that's the ground I need. Remember the set value, okay? Then you make it dynamic, let's make it uh, 999, or let's do 666 because that's more fun. Um, friction, let's make it high so we can actually push it. And fix rotation, 1, and these don't really matter because you will see soon. Now we're going to place it here. You see the codes are on, already nicely placed. You already you copy the L code, place it off the 0, the thing here between the set and the 0. And you get this code, which is the half half of the um, of the um, ripe glitch one, so it's the the linking one, but not complete. Um, now you will see there is again the A and the B, and there is this axis thing. This stands uh, the first stands for X, and the other stands for Y. Uh, whichever one is selected will choose the one uh, side the ground will go up to. So we're gonna have to get two uh, set values, which in this uh, situation we'll pick this one, which is zero. So that's just a ground, so we connect these two grounds. Um, let's go back to the document, and let's connect the zero to two. Let's check to be sure that it's two. Yes, it is two. So let's connect both of them, and we, we load this in editor and see what happens. You'll see it falls and also the mouse spawn is there which is not good. You can see I'm currently on my alt account because the map crew is a bit talkative today. So you see it falls. So hmm, what does that mean? That means if you check at this X code, the axis here, you can see that it has X0. That means it can freely move on the X coordinate which means up and down. But it can't really move on the Y coordinate. We want it to be the opposite way around. So we switch this around. So we go 1, 0. We copy this code. Go back to transmise. Reload it. Uh, let me place the mice spawn again because it disappeared. And you can see the platform is there. And we can push it back and forth. It, can't, um, it should not be able to go down, but I suppose it might be able to. No it doesn't go down. But now there's one problem. You see, it's going through the ground. How is that possible? It is not selected here. Well, there's a way to fix it. This is actually a bug that it doesn't want to go through grounds. First of all, you make another ground. Um, the thing you're going to do with this ground is you're going to make it dynamic. You're going to make it a uh, mass um, 666. And let's make the... Um, uh, remove all the collision of the ground so it has no collision with anything. Um, you can hide it either under another ground, it doesn't matter. You can, I will in this case make it invisible, which I do with uh, adding six Fs to the color code. Now let's load it. Um, here is the six, six. We're going to change that to minus, so it is now invalid mass. And here you see the, the six Fs, and we're going to add three more. Okay, so now we've done that. It's not loaded here yet, but we're going to select this ground and we're going to check the set value, which is 3. So now what we're going to do, we're going to link 2 with 3. That means they are both dynamic and this will actually fix the problem and um, we'll make sure that you can you, that it can touch other grounds. So if correct, if I load this now, you'll see there there's nothing showing up, although except the plus, which also sh shows up. But now, if we get on this and we go against the wall, it hits the wall. Which means, oh yeah, we got the platform. Oh yeah, we got the platform.